I just wanted to give you a bit more of my father's background. I was very proud of him. My father was a textile technologist from BJP High Bombay. And it's before independence. He pursued during 1930 and then he served for the textile industry and was belongs to the people's community from a small village called Kali Pate. He had a bad Kali Pate and the Parathal. And he contributed a lot to the India. Also, he wrote the book, uh, uh, two books, sorry, the Star of Universe of India and World Test and Past and Weather. And I've been one of the biggest times. She had given me my uh, the background. Thank you for that. I'm, I'm, after my education, I decided during my education to be in a kind of life in a local going to the and it just is the best that I can do for the academics and I've been doing it. Now to join the NIV, because it was a lot of areas I was interested in, I was to get through it, though I have done a video communication, I was looking for something different than what can be done, very prosperous people. So that is why we get accepted and uh, I just learned uh, many things after joining the NIV. So when we talk about art, craft, culture and architecture, these are the few lines which are published in one of my father's paper for independence. So it clearly refers that non-group textiles, where the group is not existent, he talks from that day and he relates with the two books to refer that is nature and the history. And he also says that are indispensable. The historical methods of art, gathering the information, the print of information, is very clearly says in that is the case. So I could record a lot of information about my father, very much learnings, then it would be to others. So I think it is very great and I took this night to generally summarize this the workshop. And this is an IP. Everybody knows that you It's about education practice, the teachers, and we have now which department in NID, through which we have taken a craft workshop. Lot of uh, concentrated on uh, the craft where people cannot you know, come to reach to you know, learn things to what can be done with them. So I will be just presenting not a, that's what my presentation is all about and I don't know. Can, can somebody help me? I said uh, we made some hands on. He just nothing else. Been, uh, involved in a lot of workshops through these outreach programs of NIV in craft. And uh, I could really uh, get a lot of experience and learn through articles and art forms and things like many materials, exploring, understanding of materials is very important and exploring the material for me. And how people work, how articles work and all. I think uh, this presentation will be okay and I think it then all I know. Love that. Maybe I thought of it putting it in this way, so I put it in this because we do things how people really act and react to the material, do things and all. So, this was very first workshop for water rising. Again, it is going back water rising into the Northeast Bible Development Corporation at concert, and it was the very first workshop with this new material. Many people might be doing it, but this is the very first workshop that I have been at any level since I come to, and which was, I was lucky enough to uh, head this project to a day. So these are some of the moments that are not just about writing. 
when we talk about the tradition culture, people used to eat, it seems, in that basket. They used to eat their food in that basket, you can see these historical things of the past. So how the product of natural material, again in India, I can say, it's the government saying that, has been used so widely in terms of making the product to eat something in that and to you know, connect the water holes, that strong system, strength in the techniques and technologies that we are in. So there is a lot of work in this. We started with the first session, there was a lot of communication gap, translation, is that and all. Let's stick, stick with the work of adding a few slides on this. They were very masters, they were thinking, they would go back into traditionally strong in their culture, their craft, it's very strong, one has to take a reference, I can say during, I mean, I can say that you can take a reference to it, so, I mean, as a craft, what is craft, and then I can be sensitive, it also, it will be also, I mean, stepping up, that also I can say, very strong connections, I can say, that still they have it. So we also introduced the material thing to our region also. And we are doing it. And we used to talk about power tools and the machine tools, hand power tools and the hand tools. And we are going to keep with the RTO. And it's a quite good thing to think of in the it was very simple. You were given today, you were not given enough cakes. You were still in that level of science. This is in a skilled workshop on a letter for the letter of the letter of the science. I still have the science. So I go back. So, in this one of the cluster, for Javaja bags, I think you can type in this one, they will be increased by the name of the time. Lot of workshops now, then that is the international market and the start in this time, it looks like it looks like that. This is again one of these two places, they are very sensitive, let's see, you can start with what they are doing, what they are doing. But I mostly work with close to the artists than doing the work on the financial support, stepping in and all that. And some of the elementaries. Here they are in the name of the workshop. And then the final products of the workshop. And I have this last little workshop. These people came today, I can say, the Ethiopians, they serve the port, they made the port, they are made, you know, put in the same, it's not much change of where it can be seen from the reference to be years down, and the products they make, the technique they are using for making, it's all just amazing, I can say, I, I at least live, I just cannot forget it, I could able to reach to the rewards of the places and work with artists and the thing with them, understanding the thing with them. It was a really touching thing. This is not just new images. I'm crossing some lakes of the people taking to these lakes, reaching to the island, reaching to the water from the part of the places. And they produce such a few different things. Very good. Thank you. But there is the Sabine Sidopia. She has a LMA, she has a LMA, and she has a she has a stop of that and she has a big you know, workshop or something, she engraves that in the middle. She motivates a lot and now from that point of view, the international market was applied to the international market. Now the need of the international market has been existed. The plastics have become the pet homes. In other countries you see you have a cat, you have a dog. So these small baskets of the trays, the big baskets, they have become the pet homes to the other countries. So she like that she has a lot of business to the article and we do that really to the big dance. We had a workshop in our place. And those are the rules. In the hand, the two rules, something in the back, as before, the screen is So the down, 
things are studied so during my trip so when they are in study like what is this they are doing it all about when they start doing what is it like that as a designer we can think it all doing also so I developed these two and they were very effectively used in this and the truth is the wooden piece and the small wooden or same paper cut up with the paper cut up plates have been you know fixed with certain distance to have for actual and that's how again I test my tools before I give it to the audience. You see the office and test my tools. They were working well. And the photo to the right side you can see the small back book of this. Yeah, it's about three things to know it like my page of the case with the thin thick reasons. So what is the consistency piece of by or rectangle, some of you sizing, so this is like one sizing too. So this is the very first day of in Ethiopia, in Addis Ababa Campus City, at the workshop at the Tallinn City of Vienna. The first introduction, the very high respect of receiving the tools, and everybody started using them. And within no time, they could get acquainted with the new tool. And they left their old tool which has been carried since generations together that cannot remember the time when this family was invented at all. And they could immediately get to this tool. And they were working as effectively as that tool. We took that small tool, it has two different functions. What is the point we do? What is the five centimeter from the point at the end to what is that like a wooden piece to? What is the end of the pin we do? It has all. I am not sure all this can take to the direct unit. It is not only for the basic material. And this is the room. When she has an expression, it's like it feels so comfortable. She did the room that becomes so addictive. You will just need to keep on doing things. It was so beautiful. I really enjoyed the, the way they were enjoying it. Our my tool and what a small one. Like that, you know, the craft, we have a lot of innovations. When do you want to start to innovation in creativity or invention or whatever you are doing in product? How do you do it? There are all the elements to it. Nothing comes out, you know, just like that. Nothing just comes out something very innovative thing there. So these are all the elements to come out with the innovative thing, regular experience, to even keep on doing things, letting you had itself. So finally they were also catching up, I was also proud of them that how they can assemble their own food and make it, if they just go to a small village, they can make their food, the food what is going to come to the left. Yeah, that's the real side. So it can be, they can make it by themselves. I was just a moment later. And I was very happy, the first day of Ethiopia, the month has been and we will the culture which lots of its death because of these tools to the workshop. The people that get some come, they have saw this workshop and then they join and then they so I was very lucky to meet even them and they explained and I was explaining about the even the waste generated when you do the sizing, the network material of the both the sides have been stuck in the hand holding it in the slide. Red dress, she is the first lady of Ethiopia. I am showing you just one member there. That is supposed to be an handle. So what the waste generated between when you do a sizing? So maybe we have that. We have another board back over there. It was very great. So that so there's lots of things like that is involved in. I could just put it only a few here and I am missing a lot of things, but that's what I have to count because of the time for the one this is what I want to talk about also. This is the price grid trading. I don't know how many of you have heard or know what is price grid trading. I don't think anybody will be going it. Maybe going to trading and trading, but what is price grid trading? So this is not the techniques, technologies, or a lot of things. I don't know even till today what is in India and Indian name to it. Even till today. So this is the person. Normally as people go for big check program from here to there, there to here, to countries to India and all. This gentleman, Peter Connick, would come to know with one of the students of the that in this in this data collection or in the information, the student, some kind of unique thing. 
which is a bit of Hollywood, he's a eminent British artist in the world. He wrote all books. So that inspired him to make a village to India. And he more than 10 villages or 6 villages for us. And he has come up with this book. I was happy to read it. Even till today also we don't know what is the Indian name and people are not working on this but the head mechanics will jump. So you put it in I didn't know when I was doing this grading, I didn't know. But after that, I showed you how we got inspired to do this grading and all. But this is what it is. This is only the book. And this is the book. And this is the benefits of this pre-visit to be and this technique is so strong technique, I can put this technique as the strongest textiles compared to the tending and the fabric, go and the path and that, I can put these things as the strongest textiles. It can be justified as the big part of the this has everything like, you know, bamboo, weaving, and everything has come out with such kind of weaving so we can come to the line, cotton to yarn, to the to fabric, of course. I'm just looking this thing for industry direction because no artist is looking at it now. I've tried to read, I could not read any of the articles. There are also the collections of Peter Popular. And this, uh, towards this one. Yeah, right like side that is in, in the view to the Yeah. I mean, it's a long textile designs. I have no father that worked before independence. It stands again as a long term textile design for the independent. It is not mechanized at the techniques. These techniques, technologies, people talk about how much time it takes, why do you do it? And it's definitely it can be applied for different things like have them applied in what way is it, the whole a lot of things, but what is the patient's level that you develop with the intermediate technique to be good fit to that it's, it's enough to stick on with some other work which can be. And this is the memory of my parents in this book. But I've been doing these things in the last two decades. This was very basic material, very first I started using it. My boots are only made in the fingertips to be the manipulated. So I have these slides, I do cross cross movie and I put this movie and keep moving on. That's how I put it on. I've come here, thank you again once again for SPA and the Gabriel Consistor. And these are the very few early products. Very few early products. Mr. Nadine Kumar, I thank you for him. First plane I got from him after 20 years. We were there in Ashbad. After 20 years, he could reconnect with the very first piece to the left side, the big piece, which is displayed over there, which is of just four rupees material. It's called lime tony basins that what they use it for laying the bricks in a line. They can speak about it. It took me a two days' time, not two days, four, eight hours. During traveling from home to college, college to back, it's my portable project. I can carry it to it anywhere, anytime. So that's how it has been done. Now it has been published also by weaversand.com. Then refer to that. And then I look at this. There are large linear structures. This is nothing three dimensional, you can see all the linear structures. Just that these are not exactly a bends. There's a lot of the color interaction. You see the color is on the top. You have to keep different patterns with the different types, different variants on compared to the pattern which is the blue and yellow. The right color the top. The top. So there's very different patterns and patterns are different to do these types of same and also the bags. The number of bags is a problem in which it's like a counter, you know, from radius to it grows in a sphere form. I mean, you know, in a radial form it grows in like it comes back. So there's a 
quite a blessed minus of fraction addition processes are there. If some material starts from the top and down, some start from the left to right, and some still the product is created. It's not like this way. Make the base and you think that they are constructed the walls and build the roof. I construct the wall, then I put the roof on, I put the roof and put the floor. It is like that in the materials. So all possible things. These are very straightforward things. I get one start from top to down and from center to the external structure. The structures are very good. The external structure down one. Top one is very close time structure. So how this structure? The structure, these are the products. But I call them they are structures. But to give it more light to it, I make it as a product also. But otherwise it is there are all the structures too. So these are all sameness again. There is no stitch, no tool, no bit. I think that's how it can be done. Then the tops, the top backs, the wrap around, yeah. This I really appreciate this time, so it's like a single year, it's like a complex exhaust. I have some more strike with it, but it's a point of time, I think it's like it. You can see it on the angles. Now I can say any product you need it. It is a material. We all know we are playing with the materials. We have a solid, we have a clay, we have a sheet, we have blah 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 blah. Not only the plastic technology. We have manipulations that go out of it. So this is a video which is very long in length. It's predominant in length that we use in the steel in the pillars in architecture. So how do you manipulate this thing and what is the, you know, the, the sharpness of this material in terms of the tax, flexibility, movement and things like that. The way it has in the movement and the I thought of getting the fluidity in that. I started exploring a different type of altogether and I can say I am very successful with this. So then in my first class, in 2007, in NIT, for the undergraduate students, we have a it's got a basic material, but we have a basic material in the wood, metal. Metal is a sheet, wood, and clay, and the linear material. So this was very in the first class of that, where we have uh, this technique in place, that you can imagine it with any kind of technique. Finally, I ended up with this technique because I was going to be about practice in this and all. And otherwise, we have a good understanding of any linear material, natural or industrially made linear material. So, how the linear material can be understood in terms of the furniture, construction, whatever, whatever, craft, or anything. So, this is so very good learnings. Where in the second photograph in the top center, they've been asked to gather the information. I mean, the material, the linear materials of what they found in the vegetable country bringing back to the class and have the study analysis, looping them and all. It's really fun and engaging class. There's also an international open use. And also we have some kind of themes in this. Designing the products for the old age people. We have from theme based. So this was one of the themes. Where they need to do a structure, something like. I don't know, right now, I don't know. Uh, so, the departmental views we have it, so it will be required something to inspire students to show them this is what it is that we say about the, this is the deconstruction and reconstruction, was the, that was the subject of it, so we immediately got catched up with that and one of the faculty was taking the class and said, I'll do something by tomorrow morning. So I lined up things, waste plastic, lined up, made it to small things. I got my own parts with a small stick. Uh, this was with uh, this is AJ Rao. No, so I think I'm going to be a professor with that. So it's like this uh, one more craft and craft things. So a lot of people are practically also have to have to do that. I love doing this. A lot of techniques like in the long form you can do great so far. Some text is 
Yeah, okay. So, I will publish the paper on this. I have a book here. I'll make this a little bit more perfect. It was nice. And it is a very flexible structure. I think in architecture, you know this final stage. So, what did this final stage do to you? Can you get a perhaps a good final place to stay by looking at this thing, this inspiration? And helicoidal structure, you may be knowing what is helicoidal, I don't know, but I'm surface it is. So I concentrate more on minimal surfaces with the not other structures that you call about. So, so this is one of them. So I could know this structure very accidentally made in my first leg piece. And my friend pointed this is so and so, then he started to give it very what is it or how then I could come to know about what is this helicoidal, helicoid, catamite, minimal surface, the lot of research by Tiko and my peers. Then this piece and published the paper on it and which was being again. Yeah. You can see this uh, yeah, bridges, the website of bridges, Max Art Gallery. They can accept problems here. Which is fans are on that website. You can visit and see that a huge amount of work is happening in mathematical structures. We got all the study and just earlier the presenter, paper presenter was the map of dance and maths, architecture and maths. Then in fact we don't match how we exist. So maths has been taken to the very common lens like this. Yeah, is. So, so I was the, I don't know how many people are like for it, but uh, this was the very first lecture I was in. And this talk for 30, about 30, 30 invited, participated. Uh, I was lucky enough to buy a piece to be selected there, it's the same piece. And a few more, what to say? And this also can be done, this technique can be learned from, and learned by even uh, six years time also can be done. It's not that hard. This is the other way around. In my concept, that to that. And also take it into part in terms of digitally what I'm calculating with graphic design. So I made my own template with the uh, this is the template that you can see it, but uh, with the two colors on the back, it can be created and can be created when you go to the middle. So that's that. Uh, I started to do it again. How do you align the material? I think they're not very you know, easy to use. You just click card number one, but the line will change in the back, will change in no time. I have a line size around one feet, like 10 feet left my page size in Corona, I work in line size. To see the count of space, let me get everything the templates and they are not published here. So you can see that how the color interaction happening here. These are all followed with this technique. Maybe it can be taken into a video also. This is hexagonal. I said for the hexagonal also you can get hexagonal structure. So how this hexagonal structure can give you a three-dimensional effect. One hexagonal structure. One hexagonal thing will draw it into the central point, three lines will draw it, draw it into the second point. So it is, so how can you see that three dimensional structure in a flat field? Very important. So I just gave it something. To the level of small things on top. That's on my daughter. That is not that you can see it on a display. You know, and the details of the shop. And now, people come up here, this evidence is also like, you know, in these uh, cabinet bricks, the pictorial elements of their tradition, culture, very strong, very strong in the So I am still trying for some kind of, you know, graphically evil things and everything to produce. These are actually produced. Uh, this is the existing piece. What that means, same collection. The same thing, how do you digitize? These particular small triangles, your design starts right from making your card itself. You don't know what you want to do it, then 
I mean, you won't be going with it. So what is that need to be used or what you want to do it? So what you have to do before that? So this design starts from the right of the card breaking. The card breaking is nothing but the two elements twist together in the card. Then the twist of the two elements in the card. So the twist in this door, this way, it's called an S-twist and Z-twist. So this S-twist and Z-twist is formed by a book like in the different technical terms in our basically. But that's how the design starts with the right of breaking the cards. That's a very nice example for me to have this reference and do that. So I can tell you the top of the big and small piece, which is in my hand.